The main leader of the Crimean Tatars, Mustafa Jimilev, has said that they're coming under increasing pressure from Russian authorities to show loyalty to Moscow. It comes following protests over the weekend that were sparked when he wasn't allowed entry into Russia. Several thousand Tatars unsuccessfully attempted to get him across the border. Speaking in Kiev, he said that they would do their best to make sure that Tatar protests continue to be peaceful and democratic. If force were used by the occupational authorities, the reaction of the people is unknown. The Crimean Tatar parliament, the Mejilis, can't guarantee anything, he warned. The prosecutor general in Crimea, appointed by Russia, has warned that the local parliament will be shut down unless what she described as radical activities ceased. The Mejilis of Crimean Tatars, led by Refat Chubarov, has been behind illegal public activity, she said, which has been of an extremist nature. There have been riots, roadblocks have been set up and there's been violence. People have also been crossing the border illegally, she added. There are fears by Crimean Tatars that events to mark the 70th anniversary later this month of their deportation during World War II by Soviet forces could lead to further pressure by Russian authorities.